the Kendi and Rabo podcast, sponsored by Maves and the Garavog Bar. How's That's my hair? Good. How's mine actually? More Yours so. Is lovely. I just got out of the Patrick. Did you? What? Is there a, is that a little grey patch at the front? I'm saying. Are you messing with me? <laughs> no. What? Don't tell me it's coming on me that quick because last week I found my first one. Maybe it's the lightning here. It better be the shagging lightning here. It must be the lightning, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the lightning, Mark. No need to worry. I am pretty fucking beautiful, actually. Yeah, yeah, in fairness. I might talk to myself for the rest of this. Hey, girl. How you living? (laughs) Uh, No, yeah. (laughs) I just had a Paddy Power, so it was because Tuesday's a busy day. Yeah. Do you know? I've to leave oh, the child you had, at home. You had your, I'm leaving the child ra- rearing yeah. activities. I will now change from the Recess. white sock to the black sock. Yeah, Fire change from the, the white shower. sock to the black sock. Wait, now you're still in now, the white sock. Have a look at me for a second there now. This is Summer Kendi. <laughs> okay, so for all of you not on the Patreon, which by the way you could sign up to. Rain, hail only, or snow. Only a fiver, you can you can get to see Kendi's leg. You can get what to see I'm that seeing. leg. Isn't that good leg now, isn't yeah. it? This is so, summer candy. This prime beef that you're looking at right here <laughs> is summer candy because I will wear shorts Yeah, at, for all okay. I don't care if it's raining outside. It's never cold in the summer. Right. There's no such thing as cold in the summer. Okay. I'll wear these and they're very active shorts. Yeah. Like, look at the shorts on me. Yeah. They're very active shorts. They're, they're like something you could nearly go into the sea with. You could go into the sea with that. Yeah, you could also wear it to a gig later on in the evening, like if you want to as well. I oh. wear these to all gigs now. Right. Like I wouldn't wear like... Um, has, Ma- has Maeve dropped their dress policy a little bit, have they? They um, loosened it somewhat. I love... My favourite <laughs> thing is breaking the rules as a musician. Yes. So there's a lot of pubs out there who say like no tracksuits. Yeah. Uh, well, I wouldn't wear a tracksuit, by the way. I no. was going to say that to you, but they'd be like, no hats is a big one. Yes. No hats is a massive yeah. one, right? Yeah. Uh, isn't it Brendan Brendan so, so spot with Brendan there now Brendan got accosted for his hat there only last week well I did as well well I'll tell you a story <coughs> about a place one time well obviously I won't name it like but because uh, it was it was years and years ago I don't even know if it's open anyway I name it no I'm not naming it no. <laughs> bouncers outside the door yeah said to uh, I walked up to see a band playing a gig mm-hmm. like I wasn't drinking or anything like mm-hmm. I, I was actually driving so I drove up and went in to see a band at a gig and uh, bouncer stopped me and said you're not coming in and I was like, what's he on about? Sorry. And he said, you're wearing a hat. Yeah. And I said to him, I can just take the hat off, like, if you want. And then I'd be a totally different person. Yeah. And he said, all right, we'll take the hat off, like, but I don't want to see it on you when you go inside, yeah? <laughs> I went inside. There was a fella wearing, uh, you know, like, did you ever hear of Nike TNs? What's a Nike Nothing TN? wrong with Nike TNs, by the way, but there was back then. The uh, <laughs> what white. Is a, what is a Nike TN? A Nike TN is a shoe. People are going to start Googling it now. And okay. they'll know what yeah, I mean. It's a shoe. A white Nike TN. White Adidas tracksuits. Oh, yeah. And then just a white vest. Wow. And this gentleman wa- didn't look great. He looked like the young fella from E17. You know, no, the no he that, didn't, the, though. A bit of an anger issue. Yeah. Well, like, he looked a lot rougher than that. If your man from E17... No, I won't say that. <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> and he also was causing quite a bit of trouble in there yeah. at 10 o'clock at night. So he got in and you didn't. With and I felt like going out to the sponsor and saying... <laughs> Thank God you caught me on the way in now yeah. because I'm the real worry that's going to be. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So anyway, I, I don't understand the, the the problem with hats. Is it just because CCTV? CCTV can't fit. But can't I would have worn you. a backwards hat. Ah, as that's is fine. in all the photos that have ever been taken of me and you <laughs> that are out there now. Like I'm in a backwards hat. That's like. right. Yeah. Very trendy. Very trendy. Twelve yeah. years ago, yes, yeah, for sure. Very. I know. Uh, <laughs> so it wouldn't have been that. I, I think he was just big league, and it's it's. This is what I've noticed, and I, I, I'm, tell me if I'm right or wrong. And I know people who run bouncer companies. You're going to come to a better man now to tell you whether you're right or wrong. No, but I'm on about the people out there even, so. <laughs> All right, not me. Do bouncers, is it handier for a bouncer, if there is any bouncers out there, to big league me, oh, who is innocent, big soft and you. then let a fella in like that because you're a bit scared? Yeah, I'd say so. Do you know? Yeah. Did I ever tell you another time... Uh, did I tell you a story about the knife getting pulled on me one time? You did? Oh, yeah. Anyway, you can't say outside like where, though. No, no. I mean, no. I was going to say, but no. anyway, at that time as well, there was one bouncer fair play to him who, yeah. like, Reminded who jumped straight away, grabbed yeah. the neck and everything. Yeah. And then there was another one that was hiding behind the door. They don't make them <laughs> like that anymore. They don't make them like that anymore. Mm. Anyway, I know people who run bouncer company. I'm just saying, is it easier just to go, he let your man in probably because he was a bit scared of him. Yeah. So then the next fella that came in, then he had to say, he had to fill well, the quota. I, I, yeah, I'll fill the quota and I'll yeah. pretend to the other bouncer that I am a hard man. Yeah. And I'll tell this little 20 year old who wants to go in and watch a little bit of music. That's true. That he's a problem going in the door. Anyway, sure. I never held cake. on to that. Like, no, you know, no, I never, you, all, you forgave that straight away. Uh, straight away, really. Yeah. I've never, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I wouldn't be one now for was remembrance. There was a reason why you were drawing my attention to your legs. Why did we start this in the first place? You sh- threw your leg up on top of the table, right? Which Brian McDermott won't be happy with because it's rude. 
Right? <laughs> he's not it. He's not here, but he'll see it. Come here. If you think I give a shit, no, I'm joking. <laughs> but you threw it up there and you said, look at that. I yeah. presume there's a reason I was to look at it. To enjoy it, I guess. What were we talking about I, I don't know. You just said summer candy. Anyway, it's summer yeah, candy. Summer I candy. don't know. Anyway, I haven't a clue. Did okay. you like it though, anyway? I did, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, the then didn't work. lovely it, so. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. man. Um, yeah, so this is... Uh, oh, yeah, I do be showering before uh, everything in my... Day now, yes, because you know I'm ready for day two. Yeah, for up since fucking half six, right? Oh, yeah. young one, and then I finished that day. Yeah, and now I have to get ready for the second day. Second half of the day in this day. No, the more no. is it the more enjoyable half of the day? <sighs> this part isn't really. No, <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say, my daughter's at a great stage of her life now, where she knows what no means. Oh, uh, and like yes, and all that, and oh man, and mine. Ooh, that's a big one. Everything she picks up, as in, mine. Isn't yeah? Okay, it's hers mine, now. Yeah, mine. yeah. And then like, if she doesn't want to do something, she knows. She knows now how not to. She doesn't have to shout or or yeah. cry. She says no. She knows now just to say no. No. I was abroad inside town today. Mm. Had her in the buggy. She loves the buggy. Yeah. Flying around the buggy, and uh, when I tried to put her back into the car, she said no car. No car. Right. And I was like, shit, this bitch is cognitive. Yeah. She is now fully... So how did you get her home? Fully aware. You well, walked no. her home in the buggy and then came back into town and got the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she walked home and I drove home. Very good, yeah. yeah. She's she, still sitting there. She was home before. On O'Connor Street. Don't know how she in the buggy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, she's at that great stage now where she knows... She knows what she's saying and what she's yeah. not saying. You know, did you? She's well aware of a second baby as well now, which is hilarious. Well, I'm. I must talk about the second baby. Yeah, go on. Because um, interesting, this links on to Brendan's bits. Oh yeah, okay, go on. Yeah. Brendan's bits. Brendan sent in a thing there about population, right? And apparently, um, it, you're expected if you want to keep a stable population in the world, yeah, or in your country, you'd want to be hitting about two point one babies. Now I don't know how you're going to achieve that. You're nearly <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, wait, is that kind of two babies and one that she doesn't know about? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That counts. Two, but two, that point, c- two point one babies. If you add everybody up, it should come out to two point one babies. Is that two point one babies is this? I have two babies. Yes. And then I go over to a very popular woman yeah. who might have had ten lads and she doesn't know which one of them it is. Oh, yeah. So you'd have a point one share in a baby. I'd have a point one percent share in a baby. <laughs> we don't know whose it is. I, know the I tr- call that the Field of Nettles baby. <laughs> You wouldn't which, know which one. She done falls it. into yeah. a field of nettles. Yeah. She's not going to say, that's the one over there. No, the, the, baby's, the baby's called nettles. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, nettles candy on show. <laughs> 2.1 babies is what you want. What? On average. Nettles on, <laughs> on average, right? <laughs> We're trying to think of babies' yeah. names now. Like, yeah, nettles. that's a good one. Nettles candy. Why are you called nettles? Ah. <laughs> uh, Don't ask. My mother, f- my mother fell into a. Yeah. My mother uh, was a popular woman. But. <laughs> Anyway, according to research, country needs a birth rate of 2.1 children per yep. woman yep. to maintain a stable population. I think that's very not right either, because men can have babies too, you know, just to go about it a different way. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's such a good point, Ray, because yeah, you can't. Okay. 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 Yeah. So anyway, that's fine. But then when you actually click into the map and you see how bad things have gotten, we're mm-hmm. not meeting that quota. So what, what does Ireland have? Ireland has 1.54 babies okay, per I- woman. I would still consider that quite high. It's not. It's not good at all. You'd be surprised what half a percent the damage it does. Yeah. It means that as you, cl- as you carry on with the 1.54, you're going to be in trouble in about 80 years' time. Yeah. There's not going to be enough young ones. It, it, it's, but that's the Irish population. I okay. just realised the cohort of people that'll affect. But carry on there now. No. Okay, so that's a good point. So do you... I mean, are we going to play stupid here and not say the reason why that is or no? What? Can we discuss all the reasons as to why we have a birth rate of 1.5? That's oh, and that's across the country. Like, the UK is 1.49, Netherlands yeah. 1.4, Germany 1.46, Poland Perfect. 1.29. Okay. Is there anywhere doing really well? Um, not okay. really. So will you look across the globe there and g- will you give me some stats from Africa and Asia, please? I don't have the African stats there, but I'd say it's more than two. Yeah, okay. So, can, yeah. so what happened in the Western world in the last... 20 years or 30 years. Both 20 we, years, We probably. got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of took die off the ball. Like what, we were watching Friends and hang no, time too much. Kinda, oh, let's go, let's go travel and have the crack. Let's you know, yeah. go out more. Let's have a job that yeah, you know, maybe we that's work. focus on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's clear there. I know, and I'm not saying this to patronise, like, yeah. it's not, but because there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. No. Well, but, it's wrong in about 80 years' time. But like, yeah. No, well, it'll be different in about 80 years' time. It won't time. be you that'll suffer for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you got to live what happened is in the Western world in the last 20 years, yeah. uh, even though it was obviously happening before that, I'm not saying it just, but certainly it got fast-tracked in. We talked about it before. The two 
income family. Mm -hmm. Women are now fully in the workforce. Yeah. They're expected to have a job. Yeah, yeah. Whereas before it was like, did you hear she has or whatever? She you has know? a job. Now this goes back <laughs> to 50s and 60s too, of yeah. course. They had loads of them. Like my mother works since she was a child. Mm -hmm. Now it's, so now what's happening is young ones now, I feel so bad saying this because I think people are going to go, do you hear Candy on about that? Like he has a clue. But I'll just give you me, me two Your P. Two cents, yeah. I'll give you me two P. Yeah. They're now going, I'm going to travel to Australia. Yes. Five years gone. Yeah. Okay, Good so, times though. So, sorry, here's what happens. <laughs> I'm going to go to third level education. Three years. So, four years. Four years in some cases. For a level eight. Unless you want to. Level eight, yeah. So, that's without going for a master's or a higher dip. Yeah. Your bad did the H dip. Yeah. He, your one didn't do the H dip. So, so, four years on average. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to then go that's, to Australia. So, that's 22, you're off to Australia. Yeah. Sound. 22, you head off to Australia. You're there for five years. Probably, I mean, that, that'd be long enough. Not right? everybody goes. But you could end up in Dubai doing a bit of drop teaching. Yeah, no, that's what yeah. I mean. Canada, anywhere. And like. this is men and women. This is men and this women. This is not just, it's not this just is women. Men we're, and talking, women. we're talking about fellas as well going, Jesus, I left to go and work yeah, on yeah. the farms in Australia. It's both. It's yeah. such a good point to say yeah. that it's both. Yeah. So they go off, they work in the farm for six months, they're gone for five years. Yeah. Four, three, whatever it is. Let's say you're up to now, what do we say, 27? Is you're that back, being nice? Yeah, you're back. Yeah, if you're being that's nice. That's four yeah. years. Yeah, so five years. Yeah, yeah. So 22 to 27, okay, five years, you're in Australia. You then come back and you settle into a job then back home, mm -hmm. right? And you want to settle. And you want to settle. You don't want to be getting that stuff the first. And you have to be, if you ha you've normally come home from Australia having broken up with the person. Maybe, that maybe. That you seeing yes, over there. Yes, maybe you've split up with someone over yeah, there. Yeah, and now you're back on the tinders and you're realising how shite it is. But you get a job. Yeah. Okay, and then you do that job then for a couple of years. Maybe you do meet a fella then, mm -hmm. 30. Or a girl. Or a girl. Yeah. You can meet both. Best luck having a baby can, with yeah. two of the both. No, but if we're talking from both sides of this here. Yeah, I know what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was only making a shite joke is all. Yeah. And um, <laughs> let's say you do meet someone then. You fall in love head over heels. All the way. Okay. Then you spend two or three years perhaps courting. Getting to know them. You then listen to Simon Harris. Yeah. Leo's Veradkar. All of the lads. All of them. And they say... You better get your shit together if you want to get a house. Yes. Because the world is in sh You are not ready to be doing anything in this yeah. world. Yeah. The place is in shit. You need to find 40 grand fast. You better find 40 grand fast. Stop drinking Guinness. Yeah. So don't go Stop out and meet anyone. Stop buying coffees on your car. Yeah, yeah. So don't go out and meet anyone because yeah. you have not got the money for that. <laughs> That's right. Okay? Yeah. So... Then you eventually hit 34, 35 and you go, okay, maybe we're ready to settle and down. that's when you have the 1.49 babies. That's when you have one baby and then maybe after that you have another half one. Half one. Yeah. yeah. You have another half baby. Another half baby after that, which is the typical thing in a marriage family. 1.5 babies. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Now let's go back to our parents' time. Yeah. Your father looked at your mother. That was it. I was Here there. There we go. There was five V. It was five. There was five V. <laughs> they had actually the two No, they kids. both worked. They two, My parents both worked. They had two kids by the age of 30. Okay, that's yeah. not bad. And then there's yeah. three more after that. And then the two, there's only four in my family. Oh, yeah. Oh, we don't talk about the other one. Sorry, Ray, you're right. What other one? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ray, I know they're in the attic. Whatever. What it doesn't other matter. One? Nothing. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. There's something I don't know here. No, 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 no. Did you ever see that episode of Simpsons where they find Bart's brother in the attic? I'm going to ring my mother. No, no, it doesn't matter. What's this Mark is saying about it? Uh, All I'd say is, I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I didn't know, right. Okay. Regardless of what she says, she's only joking. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. You were only a glint in my. Anyway. No. <laughs> That's what so it is. That's what it is. No, and the reason I was asking you for... Um, but we're in trouble, apparently. Why? Because if, yeah. we, if we don't get back to making babies... Yeah, well, I mean, it's funny you say that because um, some flute... Sorry, <laughs> some person... <laughs> yeah. ...who got into local government uh, or else in the European elections, and he said, we need to get women back reproducing in this oh, country. Oh, I heard about this, yeah. He yeah. said, we need to get... Yeah. Which is patronising. It is patronising, but he's not wrong. Yeah, no, 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 but he is wrong to say it, though, because you <laughs> oh, can't tell yeah. anyone can't to do anything. You can't be saying it. Yeah, yeah. But you can put out little things like Brendan's bits. And you can. can go, Here, now, this isn't good. Like, no. Just trust us. It's yeah, not yeah. good. No, like, it isn't good, like, obviously. Yeah. But, like, having said that, like, there's... There, there is other parts of the world that are less developed than Ireland and that are creating yeah, people, but apparently who we, are then getting forced to come over here. Well, if and we, we don't, if we don't get our act together, yeah, we'll be extinct. we'll be relying on those people, yeah. to come in and keep the place ticking over. So, Ray, what do you ask me to do here? Do you want to bring them in, and I'll start because I have good strong stuff. <laughs> we know I have the stuff to do this. Yeah, we could. Set are up you asking me to stand up? <laughs> <laughs> and Mark, do, your, do your, your duty Your country needs you Your country needs you yeah. Is that what you're Form wondering? an orderly queue Yeah And let you all line up Listen uh, Give me a couple of leads Through a Luke's <laughs> aid And a I couple wonder, of donuts I To wonder, just have a break In between every so often How long would it take Jaffa To get sick <laughs> Of it <laughs> I'll tell you one thing Ray You'd be doing well Wipe the smile imagine, off my face Imagine 
rendezvous was a bit like a spa, where you basically come in and everybody come in and they had their appointed time, yeah. where they come in and they just had coitus with Mark. We're sending Kendi out to stud. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You'd be like Genghis Khan. I'm going to be sitting in, right? With me top off, eating a bale of hay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it like that. I don't want yeah. to bring it into a professional big, environment like this. big slang on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big yeah. old, hairy yeah. old slang. Yeah. Hanging. And what I want is, I want to be in a stable if we're doing this. Oh, you want I don't to, want you... it to be in this kind of environment or okay. any kind of professional uh, yeah. environment. Like be that clinic. governmental, education or clinical. Okay. 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 I okay. want to be in a stable where it, the ha- a half door stable. <laughs> The top half of the door you is open. You want to be sitting in your own shite. Top half of the door is open and they walk them by. And I go, yep, yeah, come up, come, come up, in, come up, come in, up. Yeah. And then the back are in. She can't go in. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, look, it's, if anything, I'm delighted you have, you've given us one option yeah, for well, trying to fix this locally. Yeah, I, I'll i have it up, Ray. Yeah. Give, I'd have it up to 3.2 if you give me a year. And then after, <laughs> after a give year. Give me a year, I'll have it back up to, I'll have it up to 3.2. You'd have to spend every lunch break. Up in the hospital, welcoming your your, I'll, your sire. I have to spend every lunch break up in the hospital on an IV drip. <laughs> is what I'll have to fucking do. Christ <laughs> almighty, I'd be I'd be a, a, a carton of a man. There'd be nothing left in me. Christ that's above, a carton of a an man. Ep- an empty carton of a man is what I meant to say. Um, come here, if that's what you want, I'm willing to do it. I I will do my bit for my. Some people join. I was going to say some people join the defence forces. Fuck that. But anyway, do you want to reference I'll that section? No, the re- yeah. I, do you want to say what, what I'm on about? Yes. It's a disgrace. Uh, yeah. I, well, I know we're the here to have the official position of the podcast is? It, it's a fucking <laughs> disgrace. Here you are now. And it, it's, if you want my genuine, so the Kendi personal opinion, you don't have to be a part of this. Oh, and just for it's because there's a bunch of old fucking men who are the judges in this country. Hold on now. Do you want to just for the people that are coming to this podcast two years from now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, who have no awareness of what you're talking about. Uh, Natasha O'Brien. Am that's, I right in saying yeah, that right, name? Because I don't yeah, want to get the yeah, name wrong. Yeah. yeah. Natasha O'Brien and yeah. um, a gentleman called Ka- uh, Ka- Ka- It doesn't Matter. Who yep, gives a yep. fuck what his name is? Um, unbelievable. And he's not a gentleman. This happens too much. Like you cannot. There has to be consequences for ferocious actions. You and didn't I thought haven't that, explained. N- but why do we have to explain? People just, just people look it up. Look up it. Natasha O'Brien. Jesus Christ! Like this just, is back to you saying we better tell them the episode number in case they forget. It's two four nine. I I don't want to get into the fucking. <laughs> I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of the story itself. The one thing I will say to her is she spoke so well. And another thing she said is it's not just women that are putting up with this because we're all fucking terrified and we go out mm. and we see loonies out there and you go I might get. I was in a chipper on Sunday night where two boys started talking while I was at the front of the queue. Yeah. Talking about there. Oh, you wait, whatever. Command yeah. this that, and I just didn't turn around because I was fucking scared. Yeah. Yeah. It's these pricks are going around, and yeah. it is fucking fellas. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, and there's no consequences for actions like that. Mm. And it's the same with sex offenders as well. Yeah, they're fucking old bastard men sitting up, letting them get away with stuff. And I don't know if it's a money thing. Someone has to explain this to me. Someone could come in and say, "No, no, if you read it properly, they're going by the book." Well, then we better fucking return. We no, better I rewrite do, that I book. I genuinely then. think the judge involved in this case. Which, for anyone who hasn't heard about it, it was a case where a gent, not a gentleman, a man, yeah, beat up a woman, yeah, made her unconscious. I don't understand and, how it's not attempted murder. But and go on anyway, it's very yeah, it is. It should be that it's fucking yeah. attempted murder. But uh, went to court anyway, and the fella got off with a three-year suspended sentence yeah. and a fine of three thousand euro. And and why? why? Because he might lose but his, his job. job in the defence force. He's in the defence force, and the judge said, "I don't want him to lose his job." Don't lose his job. And uh, in fairness, I do solemnly think that he got it wrong. He got it wrong. This. Particular individual, it'd be a fine thing if the particular individual had shown any sort of remorse at all, because the whole way through... He tried to lie about it. He tried to lie about it. He tried to cover up until eventually he ended up with a solicitor's office. And solicitor obviously has one job, get you the least sentence possible. So he said, you're going to have to plead not guilty. Obviously he wasn't going to disagree with that. So he he pleaded guilty, or you're going to have to plead Plead guilty. guilty. Yes. So he he pled guilty, and that was about the height of the remorse shown. Uh, the, the judge definitely should have imposed yeah, a, do- yeah. a custodial sentence yeah. of a significant nature yeah. and uh, allowed him some time to reflect on what he did. Mm. And like, no wonder women are fucking scared going around the place. Like, yeah. Because yeah. he's not the only one capable of that. Like, no, you're you know? right there, yeah. And the thing is, it gets to a certain point then where I think there's actions that happen and have happened e- even here in recent years. There's actions that happen that go way beyond that because there's people who just are not in the right frame of mind and it doesn't matter what you would have done they would have ended up doing what they did mm. and what I mean by that is like murder mass oh, yeah, murder that, all yeah. that you know what I mean yeah. and not, uh, you know and a lot of that you don't see coming mm. right and I'm not accusing this man of being capable of something like that but what I'm saying is when it comes to these vicious acts yeah. that people think don't have any repercussions 
you have to stop people in that track. Yeah. I really want to fucking do this, but if I do, I'm going to get 10 years. Some some thought has to pop into a person's mind. It's a deterrent, obviously. There has to be a deterrent. Be, to try and stop people with the more... With, with those aggressive crazy mindsets. tendencies, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To Definitely. fucking do that. And it's, that's not happened in this case, and I think it was an awful And lot. it hasn't happened a lot of time as well. Yeah. I mean, we won't get into it too much, but there is an outrageous amount of indecent exposure of minors going on in this country as well. And people getting away with that too as well. And that's a whole different story. Like, but yeah. fucking hell. I don't know if it's a money thing. Are they mm. just going, sorry, cancer we import leash are full, lads. We mm. haven't the pound to be minding these people. Yeah. So fair, play to, fair play to Natasha, though, for speaking out and, and being so brave. Just unbelievable. Like, to yeah. Because yeah. she has some backbone to go, fuck yeah. this. Yeah. Fuck this shit. Yeah. I'm not letting this go on. Yeah. Like, fair play to you, lovey. Honest yeah. to God. Yeah. Um, anyway, we won't get into that too much more as well. Have you all bits that you want to get on to? Right? I have some bits. Uh, I'll give you a choice now. There's two sections there we can talk about. Lovely. Right. We have the wedding. Yeah, we do. The big wedding at the weekend. We like to get into, stuck into weddings, especially no. friends' weddings. Mm. I have that, or I have a trip to Ramstein. So I'm going to let you... Which way yeah. would you like to go next? Now, the trip to Ramstein was no more interesting now than the Eurovision by well, the looks of things. Well, we'll start with that then. Now, so. here we now, go. Here we, <laughs> now, by default, that's where you wanted to go. No. No. And we'll finish in a high then. Did the they wedding. play any country music at all? Stop the lights. Did they? Uh, did, no. No, I no, don't guess it. Then. No country music. A big load of overdriven old shite guitars. Myself, a fellow who had an invite note in his head. Myself and Luke Stavani. and a fireworks they got up north. No, it it was. That's all it was. R- Ramstein was absolutely, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It was quite possibly one of the greatest nights of my life. Right, okay. They were tremendous. wedding and all. Waste had- time. <laughs> <laughs> the fifty-five pound he yeah. spent on this ticket. I want to talk about a few small aspects of the show. Okay. First of all, you've gone to concerts before, haven't you? I mean, it, yeah, in, in my youth. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> I have your, been to concerts. There's, there's two things, though. You know, when you're when you're at a big stand in concert, if you want to get a, a good spot, oh yeah, I right, hate that. you have to go and stand in the good spot, and you have to then forego the pints. Yeah, it's an. I, I hate that. That that's why I don't like. So these you things. can't stand there with a sufficient amount of pints yeah. without having to leave the good spot and go through a million people. Yeah, and then you also still have to go through a million people to go to the toilet. Oh, so my question, my question to you is: Would you be more a kind of a fella to go get the good spot, but for go the drinking? Yes. Okay. That's it. No, no, yeah. That's it. That wasn't so, me, and Luke. <laughs> me. <laughs> we had There's to a couple make of, several trips. The, the the reason for that is yeah. I don't want to be drinking in a field full of smells, okay? But there's no smells. There's Plen- just the smell of diesel fumes is all I was getting. Plenty of smells <laughs> in a field like that. Diesel fumes and confetti. That's what. So, that's all Ramstein smells. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'd rather, whether I had to make the journey or not, I don't want to be drinking at something like that. Okay. So I okay. would, if I went to that, yeah. I would be saying, I'm going to pack my car appropriately. Yeah. I'm going to find the appropriate spot to stand. Yeah. And then my two feet will be planted until this show is over. I did think about the fact that uh, I'd love if there was a, you know, something promoting the old drinking culture that we shouldn't be promoting. But if they had really small bars, yeah. like just, you know, someone with a bag of cans. Yes. And I'm willing to tap. Well, <laughs> here's the and thing just now. And them around the place. I don't know because I know Taylor Swift and all them were in uh, the Aviva. Not yet. Have you ever... Oh, was she not? Oh, no. She, well, she hasn't been there yet. Oh, has she not? This no. shows you how much I know. Yeah. Anyway, so... Oh, you'll know when she's she, there. Oh, fucking, oh, we'll feel it on the Richter you'll scale, feel, is it? You'll feel the earth move. So, but what I mean is, I've gone to sporting events in Medich. Yeah. You don't have to get up off your seat, Ray. You, if you want a hot dog, a bowl of popcorn, yes. some cheesy nachos. That's when you're up on the stand, though. But when you're in, beer. The, in amongst 10,000 people on but a that's pitch. That's what I mean. Should we have people with the oaks over their heads going round the pitch as well? Or you might have actually, if you put them on a little a line, like a clothesline yeah. line above you, and yeah. they can hover in. What if we get them kind of set up with the, wi- the wings? Or drones. <laughs> Just get drones in drones dropping in stuff. dropping in stuff. Well, you can order to your geolocation. No. Now, the only problem is then you'll get loads of pints then. So the drone drops you down your pint and you're delighted with life, yeah. right? And you're going, thumbs up the drone. Yeah. So the whole fucking field is covered in drones. I know <laughs> what to take away from the look of the <laughs> But then you've also then, how do you go to the toilet? Huh? How do you go to the toilet? What's what, what, would mandatory colostomy bags do the trick there? You, you, everyone has to have a catheter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a catheters and drones the catheters is and drones. the solution to, and you can still then be in yeah. your best spot. Now, having said that, I was talking to another gentleman friend of mine who said that he was at a concert called um, Some 41. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. that'll be way more down my alley. I know, yeah. I would yeah. love to see Some 41. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he said that a friend of his just pissed into the empty glasses and bottles. Mm. But didn't throw them at he just then left them down. them down beside oh, his yeah. feet. That's true. But you, how do you you it's have not to the worst wait idea. now if you stick the bottle into your trouser? Stick a bottle into the trouser. Yeah, but my No, sh- he said he shite into a bottle as well. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
<laughs> to be a lot of lads now wouldn't fit into the little bottle cap. No, yeah, <laughs> this fella did though. <laughs> do you want to give his name? No. I have to. If I want to do it, it'd have to be a Lucasade bottle. You know, with the, with the, with the bigger yeah. top on it. Yeah. The, no, I won't say his name though because we but, mentioned yeah. him before on this. Um, You'd have to have a coffee cup or something, or a really keep cup. Oh, absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah, and that'd keep it warm for me. I'd have to have one of those standing cups that you see the women going around. <laughs> the big yolk. Yeah. Yeah. Just to fit. Yeah. Uh, but the, he, that's what he did, and just yeah. poured it down. Now, I don't know how he hid it, because there'd be indecent exposure in that now as well yeah, if someone saw the tippy yeah. yeah. But <laughs> that's what he was doing at the some 41 concert, so he yeah. didn't lose his spot. Because there's nothing worse than imagine you go, right now, here I am, front. Yeah. I could do the piss now, actually. Yeah. And if you're at something like a Woodstock, yeah, or even Oxygen back in the day, long or way. A, Electric Picnic, or or um, any of those, mm. uh, what's the one in Bundoran? Bundoran, the Sea Sessions. The Sea Sessions, and you're at the front, and you go, I have to piss. What do you do? Yeah. Do you just hold the piss? For That's all what that I long? wonder. I think the people that are That's at the front, why you would forgo from drinking. Yeah, forgo from drinking. Do you know what I mean? You have to. The bar staff were slow. I hate to say it. Oh, has, but some of them were fast. Now there was four bars. Bars two and three were tremendous. Bars mm. one and four were the worst things I ever seen in my life. Were they on the outskirts, the wings? Done the wings yeah. and just the bad staff and it, just people that didn't look like they'd ever worked in the bar before. Yeah. And all they had to do was literally car- carry the rock, plant the rock show from the, the place where they were pouring them to the front and yeah. tap my card. Yeah. Oh. It was excruciating. Is to watch. there? I have to say, I have to hand it to Sligo. Yeah, because they've caught up after the pandemic. Yeah, a lot of the pubs around the place. Yeah, and they've good staff in good again. Staff and in you again. don't find yourself waiting around. That's good. But but, w- Jesus, that's going to be a big problem, isn't it? As well, we were talking about the workforce and all that kind of crack. Yeah. Young ones nowadays don't want to work behind bars. No, they don't. They, uh, there was a real, t- there was a real. And then they do. They were doing it in Australia. They sen- don't mind wait. We won't wait for no one. They didn't care. There was a sense of I don't care that the band are about to start and I and you need four pints. There yeah. was no urgency about them. I and was like, can you hear the music starting? Yeah, yeah. I've queued. Do has do, do has to speed up. Yes, please do has to speed up. Yeah, please. So uh, thanks, Sarah Plass, yeah. if that was right, let us know. Yeah. So, no, but come here, there is going to, that's going to be, I think that's going to be a problem for a long, long time. It's going to be shite. And Irish people are well used to waiting. Yeah, we are. Our favourite drink, we fucking fill it up three quarters and we and say, how about we <laughs> fucking leave that for five minutes and <laughs> yeah, come back to it? You know? To wrap up. It's not that, like, it's fucking, does it fuck me? There's some bad stuff out there, Bad, right? staff. bad very, staff. Very, very upsetting. To not wrap up the Ramstein experience. Oh, yeah. Um, but we haven't even talked about Ramstein yet. Oh, Ramstein were tremendous. Uh, they did all the usual things. They burnt the keyboard player in a big cauldron with a flamethrower. I saw your man sitting on a big flute. He sat in a big flute and he jizzed all over the whole front of the crowd. That's what it was. That's what it was. What is foam? Well, was he it trying to get the birth rate up? Was <laughs> he? <laughs> he was trying to do his bit for the birth rate. Yeah, he was spreading. Yeah. He, was spreading, he was spreading, but he was only getting the front. We didn't. Me, seven Luke, Luke, he didn't. He get didn't hit, get it. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Sh- <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> they listen. they sailed on boats, inflatable boats, from a small st- from the big stage to a small stage and back again. How controlled are these maneuvers? Uh, they're very controlled. Like I mean, everybody. The thing so about, him crowd surfing on a big boat. The thing about metaler gigs is they are the nicest bunch of people you'll ever go to a show with. Okay. It was essentially. 10,000 of the nicest people in Ireland. Right. And it it was like the metal all Ireland. And everybody was, I'm sorry, and excuse me, and would you like to step in there? Yeah. And everything was just, they're just so nice. And yeah. there's no pushing and dragging unless you want to be pushed and dragged and then you get into the, the piss, mosh, pit. mosh pit. And then even the, even the pushing and dragging is, sorry there, I'm sorry, I, I hit Jesus. you a bit hard there. I have, that yeah. must be the Irish metal community because on my TikTok now what pops up is... Um, some lower budget shows than that now. Well, for let sure. me talk about a lower budget show like Liam Gallagher. Now, that's not what I meant. Now, I see the I video. I meant metal band in their local <laughs> hall and <laughs> five lads oh, yeah. battering the, the shit time. out yeah. of each other. Yeah. Go on, but that's controlled. Liam's Gallagher. The Liam's Gallagher gig was the same night above in Dublin, and I seen videos of that, and mm. I and I just couldn't get over the amount of people. So one thing, and I know um, a good friend of the podcast, Tony Ward, mentioned this today on the Facebook. Yeah, he said it was the nicest crowd he ever said. No, said. he didn't. <laughs> No, he did he say did that. He did say it was a great gig. But he, he pinpointed one thing that seems to be a thing at gigs now, where if you have about three quarters of your pint gone and what's left in it, you throw that <coughs> and it lands 40 oh, people anyway. away yeah. and, it, and, and wets them. But that's the equivalent of a mosh pit, though. But no, this was an like abundance of this. At, yeah. at, you could see it happening all the time, people throwing half pints. And you're going, do they not charge enough? In the three arena oh, for pints. Me, How yeah. are you throwing four euro I know. ahead of you and hitting some poor lady on the back of the head? So why are they doing that? I don't understand it. Is it but is it a thing? Is that like a thing that happens now? Or it is seems it, is it just to be a thing. Bastards? It's ignorant bastards that have, oh, this is funny. And as Tony said, there was people up in the upper tiers actually throwing it down on people on the below. Why that do would really we... upset my night yeah, if yeah. I got hit with a pint. Oh no, if I saw it, it upset my night. Because why, are, why do people 
thrive on the misfortune and the bullying of others. Yeah, I don't Christ know. Christ almighty. And like. then, and no more than getting back to Natasha's story. Yeah. Natasha's whole thing started where she stood up for someone. Yeah, that's right? one thing we didn't and say. And I have to say, yeah, because this this particular individual, he was just throwing jibes at someone, homophobic jibes. Yeah. And Natasha says, come here, you now, stop. Yeah. Right? And that's what got her into the situation that got her into it. Yeah. It was defending someone. Equally with the pint throwing and stuff like that. Yeah. There was a night where I was at a gig. That's where right. A, a gentleman threw a pint. And I thought to myself, that's nasty now. Because it hit a bunch of women at a table having a good time. Mm -hmm. And I'm told them, would you mind just not throwing pints? And you were working at this, by the I way. I was working at the gig. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just in case it was like, oh, well, Ray was probably drunk as well. No, we, like it wasn't. <laughs> no, was I wasn't. Working. I was a little tipsy. <laughs> but I had enough Might in be. me to be brave enough to go over yeah. and go, that's the right thing to do now is just ask them politely to stop doing that. Yeah. Uh, it did not end well for me. Yeah. I did you not. You were well. told. I was told, mind your own business yeah. and get. The, away from me yeah. and I have to say retreating from that situation I learned a lesson in that and I hate to say it to you stay, out of, this stay out of it and that's the worst thing in a society it's that terrible. can happen because that's how the worst things happen when yeah. good people turn a blind eye yeah. it's that's when the bad people really get to play no. I mean, like, all you have to do is go to a big city and you'll see that happening because, like, yeah. people turn blind eyes to shit like this right. all the time. The I, homeless, yeah. everything. You just go, I didn't see that. Didn't see that, yeah. I don't care. And I'd I'm love to forward. know at the Liam Gallagher gig, the general <clears throat> feeling of the crowd that were at it, that weren't throwing pints, that were getting hit by the pints, whether they liked the idea or not. Yeah. I'd love to know, is that is that an enjoyable activity? That's what I'm saying because... Have I missed the memo? The reason I say I asked you that is mm. because moshing is a consensual activity. Oh, yeah. You're, everybody everybody says yes. Everyone says, I'd love to get <laughs> battered into if the skull. If me and Lukey wanted to get battered into the skull, we yeah. could have gone to a particular area and got battered. Well, one of my favourite things I ever saw, because uh, it was funny now, was um, I went to see a band called uh, the Dropkick Murphys. Yes. In a place called Vicar Street. Yeah. It's in Dublin. Yeah. East side of uh, yeah, I know you. Anyway, yeah. so uh, and then I saw a fella bring his uh, girlfriend in into standing at the front mm. without realizing what was about to happen. Oh. Two cords in, yeah, and the two of them got battered around for maybe fifteen seconds and just left. Just left. They said, "I think we might have booked the wrong gig we, here." We're you in know? the wrong spot. I think we yeah. might be in the wrong yeah. gig here. Yeah. Um, so it does. But yeah. I'm saying, you ha when you go into a metal gig like that, you consent because the music is so bad. What happens is they go, "Well, let's make our own crack." If the, if the music is what? I mean, yeah. Wait now, that was a dig. Well, no, there was I'm a dig saying. there now. The, met, the metal, no, hmm. the music is so good. There was no pint thrown at our gig. Was there moshing? There was moshing, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. the moshing is yeah, fine. Jesus. <laughs> This music is so poor. Let's bat the shite out of each other. Let's just bat the shite out of each other. <laughs> there was uh, two last points in Ramstein. First of all, I don't think they're the most environmentally friendly band that ever hit the country. I tell it's, you, Apple Green was was dry. <laughs> predominantly based on fire and diesel. Yeah, and and confetti, as I said. So and yeah, yeah. It's I would think of Ramstein like a musical. The opposite of Eamon Ryan. <laughs> Eamon Ryan left two weeks ago. All Ramstein. of a sudden, Ramstein are booked in. Like yeah. all this shit. Taylor Swift is coming. Yeah. All, all, all Eamon Ryan leaves and look what's happening. And the last item, the keyboard player, who was dressed in a gold sparkly uh, outfit. If anyone has ever seen a video of Ramstein playing, you'll see what he's wearing. But um, he performs on a, on a treadmill. Yeah. The whole night? The whole night, he's on a treadmill. He's on a peloton or a pelican. The, the, the it's an omnidirectional treadmill, so he can turn whichever way he wants. And he essentially just walks to the beat of the song. Isn't that marvellous? That man's getting the steps in, staying healthy. And is he looking healthy? He's looking very healthy, because very trim. if you watch another band, it's a completely different... If anyone ever watches Toto, yes. go watch Toto live, right? I mean, I think the best band of all time, anyway, in terms of like the musicianship. Anyway, yes. go watch Toto live, and, and they have a piano player and a keyboard player. Yeah. Now, for the most part, the piano player is playing throughout the song. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of Toto songs, the keyboard player is... Hitting little riffs here and there, yeah, very appropriately. In between that, just watch him because he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> See, that's very good doing. What treadmill. happens is, right? I go watch <laughs> Toto live in Poland, right? Yeah. 2013, Nathan East on the bass, and yeah. Simon Phillips on the drums, the keyboard player, whatever his name is, doesn't matter. He plays about eight notes. He <laughs> fucking right. He goes and he hits a chord yeah. and he steps two foot away from it. He looks out to the crowd. He starts counting. That's, I'd say, 50 in front. I'd say, we'll probably come out with a couple of grand here tonight again. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm back in again. Yeah. Bap, Bap, hit this again. Come here, right there. I've got the parents up the back. I must yeah. check it. Today. Oh, that's them. That's yeah. them there, yeah. So there's bands who are... He's a lot less active now than your gentleman. That's where he needs a treadmill. Maybe he should get a fucking treadmill. Maybe he should get a treadmill. Maybe he should. We shall move on. Come on. To Shawnee Bagnell and Lorraine's wedding. Shawnee Bagnell 
and Friday. Lorraine. Is she Bagnell now? She's Bagnell. She's Bagnell now, yeah, lads. She's McDermott. She's now Bagnell. He Bagnelled her. He Bagnelled her. So that uh, isn't a sexual thing? <laughs> to Bagnell someone. To have been Bagnelled. <laughs> to have been Bagnelled. <laughs> Uh, it's some, in the bag now. I have some genuine questions. Great day and all, but I have oh, some genuine shit. questions. Oh, no, 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 Ray. These are friends of ours. I don't like when you say, it was a great day and all, but I have some genuine questions. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're You're these are genuine questions. questions. No, okay. no, no. So one thing that came don't up, question your beautiful day. One thing that came up at the table during the beautiful day yeah. is a question I want to ask you. Go on. You know when you get a pint poured at a bar? Yeah, and it's terrible. No, no, no. It's a great pint, and then they obviously top it up, and they put it up on the bar. And then it is yours then, you've paid for it, it is your property, you are then responsible for the drinking of it. Say, for example, you depart the room for a few moments, maybe a few minutes, and you leave the pint sit there on the bar. My question is, how long until a pint of Guinness is not drinkable? Oh, it depends where you are. Right. And the the Let's not say! (laughs) Let's not say where we were, Ray. Oh, no, but... No, this isn't a a criticism of the venue at all. The the pint of Guinness... Oh, I would. That would have been my one. (laughs) Were absolutely tremendous. Will you stop? I well, can't. I'm I can complimenting no- them. I know, but I was about to not. You oh, well, prick. I've beeped that out now, so you yeah. can tip away there now. I was leaving fucking <laughs> the, uh, maybe a quarter of my pint because Behind I couldn't you. drink it fast enough before it went yellow. Okay, so yellow. Nothing worse than yellow Guinness. It's yellow, yellow Guinness. Guinness. Because that is, when you look at the head of a pint, you see, Jesus, it's gone a bit yellow. That's, That's a bad yellow. pint. That's a bad pint, but if it goes yellow after a minute or two. Right. Because the thing is, Nicola was saying, you're drinking awful fast. Because <laughs> I was trying to drink before it went sour. Trying to forget the world. I was trying to drink before it went sour. Right. And then by the time I got down to a quarter of a pint, then it's it was gone sour. And I said, leave it. Yeah. And I think you were going around drinking the rest of my <laughs> bad pints. The rest of your bad pints, yeah. <laughs> because every time I looked, it was empty again. I was going, who's drinking my bad pints? Ah, that's very you know? good. Okay. But that, it's a problem in certain places though but then we went out to a place then the next night yes. and Nicholas said well and I said yeah, there's nothing yellow about that one now there wasn't a drop left now Woo! I okay. said there's nothing yellow about that one now yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was a pub outside Sligo Town which again yeah. we won't mention no no it's not mentioning everything sorry in the world, Ray. Yeah. Uh, next question uh, at the wedding ceremony itself the priest was very magnanimous and oh. said oh. come here now lads some of ye, as long as you've been Love. baptised Come up and get a drop of communion. We have the celiac bread as well for a plate of us. It is. It, we're an equal opportunities employer. Yeah. And if you don't want the blessing, you have to make the uh, water slide signal. No, if you want a cross, blessing instead you want of the blessing Eucharist. The, you got to do the water slide signal, yeah. which which you assume as you're go, either going down a water slide or you, don't, back. or you don't want any communion. Yeah. So uh, one gentleman, one guest of the wedding party, a mm. young Will Keats. That's right. He is from Australia. Yeah. And Will Keats... Uh, I don't know, would he be a, a, a normal purveyor of, of, of communions? Well, he... He's never had one. He certainly didn't understand the rules either. Yeah, he'd never had a communion, but he said he'd go for it. All of a sudden... Well, I don't think he even knew he was going for it. He... I talked to Will. <laughs> joined the Will has never ever had communion. He said it the next day. Yeah. Like, almost like he was like... Um, like letting something off his chest, like you yeah, know? like like guilty. So, kind yeah, of. so he said, look, I just saw everyone else walking up the middle of the church. <laughs> So he said, I just kind of thought I better, I better yeah. do this. Yeah, because when you're in Ireland, you do feel like you have to go. If you're in yeah. Australia living in Ireland or living in England and, and visiting Ireland, yeah. uh, you have to kind of go with yeah. the crowd. So all of a sudden he got handed this wafer. Yeah, and he tried it. And he tried it. Yeah. And we said to him, Will, yesterday you made your, your first. first Holy <laughs> Communion. And me and Nicola went off to the shop to try and get him a card and a banner. And we couldn't get one. <laughs> I would have loved to have landed back to the pub with a card and a banner for yeah. him. And maybe get a few pound off everyone yeah, for his first Holy Communion. Yeah, a little communion. whip around. Yeah, and buy a G-Shock <laughs> watch. That's what I bought with my communion money. Is that what you bought? Do you the G-Shock watches with the light on them went back in the early noughties? I made my communion in 2000. Yeah. And uh, what I bought out of it was a G-Shock watch. Look up a 2000 version of a G-Shock watch. It was the bee's knees because it had a light. I can't believe that you spent... I When I did yeah. my communion, the only thing we got was a bag of sweets and the, and, uh, the money was taken by my parents for other things. Come here. Did you fucking do your communion in Angela's ashes or something? It was what a bag of sweets. You the, got a the bag priest, of sweets. The ca- Canon Curry, God rest him, at the time when he communed us, when I got my first Holy Communion, I got yeah. a big bag of sweets. Everybody got a big bag of sweets. You didn't get money. We did get money, but the, I think my mother and father took the money. And said that'll go now to a safe spot. I think it went into the you know the Ulster Bank piggies. Yeah, the book. One, it went in there again. It was well. It was somewhere well, on my lodgement book. Did this happen to anybody else? Okay, it was either during communion or confirmation. So you'd make your communion in Ireland at the age of around eight. Yes. Then you would make your confirmation at the age of around twelve. Yeah. And it was always the time about a week before in in school. All of a sudden, the Bank of Ireland and the AIB would be into you. <laughs> 
to give you a talk and opening your first bank account and giving you an FM radio. Isn't that bad? Isn't that unbelievable that they were waiting for kids? Like, yeah. They knew that we were going to get money. Yeah. For and communion. I suppose it's the time to get people. And that's when they got you. And the way that they reined you in was they gave you a wee goodie bag that yeah. you could put your slippers in in school yeah. and it said AIB on the front of us. And then they gave you a little FM radio. Is that morally right? No, it's that, not. That because schools should be letting banks into schools. That is, is not definitely <laughs> not right. Like. Is this one of the moments in adult life where after looking back on something and going, that was wrong? Because like, we're getting... an inquiry. <laughs> like, we got, we got thrown into a banking system at a young age yeah. that we now all just accept is so the right system. But it's not the right system, though, because if you yeah. want to make money, yeah. don't give it to a bank. It won't make any money in the bank. So that's the reason I'm so in debt at the minute. Yeah, invest it. It was the communion. Like pension funds. <laughs> it was the communion that got you rich. Oh my God! You made your first what? holy communion, and your parents said, "No, oh, yeah, be ring last who week." Who am I suing? Ulster Bank or the, the Catholic Church? No <laughs> point in suing Ulster Bank anyway. That's for well, sure. Well, I certainly won't get anywhere with the Catholic Church either. No, that's for they sure. They say oh, loads of people money. This is where they have you. <laughs> they say join the back of the queue, lads, because you uh, we'll get you in twenty eighty. <laughs> eventually, yeah. When the birth rate's gone down. Um, <laughs> uh, Isn't did, that unreal? We did talk about communions as well. The, uh, the fact that Will was able to go up and get a communion, even though he hadn't the aforementioned, like he had no ID. To yeah. say that he was a card carrier. That's what I, yeah, I was going to say, if the Lord above him is so almighty, <laughs> why didn't he pull some kind of a Tekken or like a Street Fighter move and go, <laughs> we and, like, because he would have known and pushed Will to the back of the church. He, yeah. How, you, are, you are not worthy. That means the people that, that don't get communed can go up and get communed whenever they want. Yeah. Now, the Catholic Church have taken a brand new stance on this, I've noticed. Yeah. Um, from working in like the live streaming of funerals over COVID, mm. what they do is they uh, they know now that the origins of a lot of people in this country is not the Catholic Church. Right. So they say if you're there at an event which could be a funeral or a wedding, mm -hmm. so you're not going to go to church every Sunday if you're not from the Catholic Church, but you would be at a wedding or a funeral, yeah. and you might not be from that. Yeah. And they say you come up and you take it if you want, yeah. or you sit where you are, or you go up and do that. And do the, the, the slide. You know? Yeah, slide, so slide they're, moves. they're opening it up to everybody. I just don't think he was listening. <laughs> Yeah. He just said, shit, everyone's after getting up. I better go up and get this. Now, another belter. We got told a story after that by another person that was at the wedding mm -hmm. who said, but your, I had a friend at one in Rome, I think it was, or I can't remember where it was. And he said um, he had never been to any kind of Catholic ceremony ever before. Okay. He did the same thing that Will did. He saw people going up the middle aisle. Went for it. Put his hands out, took, yeah, took the, the wafer. Not and five, six hours later, sitting down at the wedding, he just... He pulled out the wafer. At, at a round table, he just said to them, come here, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting having the meal. And they said, did you not? <laughs> he didn't know it was food. Would you wonder that as well? Is it is that like <clears throat> illegal against the, like, the, the religion? God. God. Have you have you wronged God by well, bringing the wafer with you? I mean, you? They it's not a wafer. Like we're saying it's yeah. a wafer, but it is the body of Christ. And there was another story. Didn't one of the other guests at the wedding say that they, when they were young, above in the school, they used to break into the sacristy and ate a load of them? Yeah, that's right. Someone said they used to wallop them down. And we won't say the name because no, we won't I don't say think she'd name. appreciate that. Well, the only thing is as well, there was a sister in Castlery who used to bring us up to, we would say, serve mass and yeah. all that kind of crack. Yeah. Like, And her big thing always was that inside in that tabernacle, which mm -hmm. is where they keep the Eucharist, yeah. is the baby Jesus. Right. Now, I took that far too literal, not uh, <laughs> because of my age, but also not hugely bright, Ray. <laughs> You know, so you thought there was a baby up inside the tabernacle. I genuinely believed there was a baby in the tabernacle, oh. and I was wondering who feeds it. Yeah, does it ever see the light of day? Yeah, and I thought it was genuinely the baby Jesus inside us. Jesus, you were right. But with everything religious, mm -hmm. not just in Catholicism, it's all metaphor. None of it yeah. is based on any kind of reality or anything. But that's okay too. I'm not saying that's. It's just it's all metaphorical. Very metaphorical. And not I mean, a baby. So there is not a baby Jesus in the tabernacle in St. Patrick's Church in Castlery. No. No, there is not. And, there, nor there and I have checked. I have checked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For everyone out there, don't go worry. I've checked. Uh, a thing occurred to me about, I know we're still at the wedding. Yeah. Uh, no, we're actually, we're moving off the wedding. Well, no, now. can we just say, if, if you're moving off the wedding then. Yeah. Can we just say, like, what an unbelievable couple of days it was. Mighty. No, the, not only just because Lorraine and Shawnee got married, which was, I mean, beauty beyond belief. Yeah. It was marvellous. It just to get everyone together again in a capacity like that to sit down. We sent Ali away to Roscommon. I seen that. Uh, for the full weekend. How did that go? Great. She doesn't give a shit. Did you enjoy it? We were like video calling like, oh, hey, baby, how you doing? She didn't even look at us. She, she was like, like, no. She didn't give a shit. Her grandparents treat her like an angel. Like. And come here, would you be inclined to do that more often? 
Oh, like she hasn't. Now we're sending her away weekly. Yeah. So they're going to have. You could have a life again. They're going to have her for three weeks in a month, <laughs> and we're going to take her for a week then. <laughs> yeah, savage. Yeah, and it's a that great sounds, little. That deal. sounds like a plan. Yeah. So, and they get to be, you know, parents of a little baby again. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. loving it. They're loving it. So uh, uh, that was class. We just spent the whole weekend then with E, just enjoying the crack. It was lovely. And I mean, how brilliant was that? You, you, didn't, know, do, you didn't do the hot box on a Saturday, was, did you? No, we didn't. No, I did Saturday. Well, I was just going to get on to us. Right. Friday night, they get married. We yeah. drink copious pints. I leave about quarter past two. Yeah. And you left a quarter behind you. I did, living yeah. quarters of pints all over the yeah. place. Yeah. And um, I woke up then the next morning about half nine. Couldn't yeah. believe it. That it was? That it was half nine. I haven't slept in until half okay. nine. I can't remember the last time. <laughs> right. And then I uh, turned on the television. Yeah. I watched a little bit of schmutz on Netflix. Schmutz. And then, yeah. That's not? Stuff here or there. Oh, yeah, okay. Do you know, enough. old yeah. bits and pieces. Yeah. About 11 o'clock then I fell back asleep again. Lovely. Woke up around half twelve. Yeah. I was just on cloud nine. I'd say that was nice. I got up then and watched JA Formula One. Yeah. Nicholas said you didn't talk to her for about an hour. Oh, that was her biggest. She <laughs> loved that. <laughs> no reason to communicate. She loved that. I was trying to explain that to Sharon, a friend of ours. Yeah. Nicola was buzzing when we got to the day two crack at about seven o'clock that evening. Nicola was like, me and Mark sat on the couch and didn't talk for like over an hour. Yeah. You know? And then you went, well. And Sharon was like, what do you mean? Like... <laughs> She was like, it was just great. Like, we just kind of sat. We, I, we, had, a, we, we had nothing to be talking about. That's, it what, it, that's okay. what she meant. You were safe but, in the silence. Yeah. And I was trying to explain to, to Sharon, we had nothing to be talking to each other about. So why would we be wrecking each other's heads? Yeah. We just kind of fucking sat there. It's nice that. Me and Sean do that all the time. <laughs> we just sit at the table. <laughs> yeah. We then don't Laura, talk. Laura comes in and ruins it then. No, 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 no. Ah, Ray, that, you Laura. always say that to me. You and Sean, you'd be sitting there in lovely, what is it called? Solace. Yeah. Solace. Laura comes in then starts chatting to you. Break solitude. Yeah. Breaks the whole fucking Manly door. solitude. Yeah. Uh, you just be sitting there naked, do you? you two last Sean. things to torture. Yeah. Go on. One, uh, lads with handbags. You know the what do you mean? You fanny know, packs or handbags? You know the nineties bum bag. Fanny packs and the handbags <laughs> that the lads brought back <laughs> from the nineties to wreck my head. So now they're wearing them across the shoulder. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. wearing them across here. I'm seeing more and more fellas doing it. First of all, my question is. What are they carrying? Because there was a long time where men didn't have to carry much by their phone. Now, now they're carrying a wallet, a vape, a phone. Okay. Keys. Okay. Sunglasses. And then they don't like end up like me with a track of my phone on my left hand pocket in my pant. Yeah, well, I've, which, I said it's Nicola. I said the good beige pant is ruined. It's ruined because there's no control- track of a phone. Yeah, yeah. And you can see where the phone normally yeah. does be. Yeah, yeah, I nearly have a hole in mine from the corner of me Samsung yeah. Galaxy yeah. S22 Ultra. Yeah. So they're putting all that in there. The reason I haven't jumped down young people's throats there like I usually would, which I'm sure is what you're expecting. I thought you would. When I went to Tenerife you did with it. my wife, I had it because it's suited around there. You're wearing little tiny shorts and a vest. <laughs> <laughs> Your shorts don't have like swimming shorts. Yeah, they don't have a. a they have like two pockets, but there's nothing, nothing. You can't put anything else into it. Yeah, I would have a fanny pack on, but I wore it the old school nineties way. Now. Oh, you wear the way the rock. I wear wore it around the way, around yeah. the waist, around the way, the rock around the waist. Would wear it, yeah, because I'd have a massive. Because phones are huge nowadays. I'd have a huge phone. And big, would you ever, would you massive ever chance phone wearing it? Uh, like the other way They've now. all started wearing it that way now. Which look, I'm kind of like if that's more comfortable for you, mm. go on ahead. Okay. I have one at home. I haven't never wore it in Ireland. I wore it in Tenerife for two weeks. Would that you wear it tonight? It. Would you wear it tonight to the gig and see Not, what happens? No. Look, remember the last time I tried to dress trendy? Yeah, I got true. called a toddler. <laughs> you did. Yeah. It was not. Uh, but the fanny pack of the nineties is back in full swing, and I've noticed the flares are back. Yeah. And you know what else is back? Skateboard jeans. Is Big it? Big baggy skateboard jeans. You'll have to dig that one up out of the back. Garden. I have them. I have a pair. I have a kickflip. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I have a kickflip jean. I have an alley jean. I have all them kinds of jeans. The last item for you. Go on. Uh, is um, you know the way on the debts. Of people Deaths on in Like on Midwest Radio Oh yeah The, the debt, debt notices you Debt has occurred of Yeah you know R.I.P. got sold but Anyway go on yeah, anyway That's going to become Subscription apparently Christ almighty You have yeah. to subscribe To the debt So debts. if you want to find out Who's dead You'll have to pay Five euro a month I'll tell you. Like Spot, it's, it's Spotify or Netflix For dead people for, Yeah yeah, yeah. 100% yeah. my mother will pay yeah. Oh anyway. they will And my father will pay it too Of course they um, will. But <laughs> on the debts anyway I've noticed that uh, And it's only because It is beyond at home Yeah And I've noticed that It uh, They'd come out and go, the death has occurred of etc. And uh, uh, Willie, etc. Willie, etc. <laughs> Willie, etc. <laughs> death has occurred. And uh, funeral arrangements are nine o'clock to five or whatever, you know, the usual crack. Yeah. And then donations, if desired, too. And yeah. it's normally something practical like the hospice mm-hmm. or cancer research yeah, yeah. or whatever the whatever yeah. matters most to maybe the person that has yeah. passed away. I was thinking it'd be great if I could just 
get Laura to get, get on board with this. If I ever pass away, I'd like to go donations if desired and to something odd. Do you know? <laughs> donations um, if desired to... Only fans Ireland. Only fans, like, yeah. <laughs> like, that is a selfless act. Yeah. Because you're going, I want to keep all these young ones in business getting their yeah. diddies out. Donations if nothing to do with Kendi. Like, nothing, Kendi, yeah. whatever way he dies, passed away. Yeah. Nothing to do with it. Or to Gene O'Boyle's political career. Now, donations if desired. Can you do that? Yeah, I, what, see, this is it. You can pretty much say donations if desired. If you want to give a few pound... To a cause that matters a lot to Ray, yeah. you'd have to pick that donations if desired to um, Sean O'Reilly's new drum kit. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> so then all of a sudden, Wouldn't my death, been... everybody that wanted to throw a yeah. pound in, donate, donate yeah. and Sean gets a nice new Ludwig. So if I die... Yeah, what would you do with it? Touch wood, we actually have wood for wood. It would have to be donations if desired to Nicola's Amazon wish list. <laughs> So you could keep I like there's all over. kinds of weird shit in that. Like she yeah. has some of the weirdest shit in that Amazon wish yeah. list. Like yeah. so, if that, that that's what you mean. Or I could do Mark Kennedy's Thorman wish list. Yeah, yeah. To Mark Kennedy's Thorman wish list. Thorman shopping basket. Yeah, yeah. And it's not a bad. Good... It's yeah. not a bad idea. Let's like, normalize that. Yeah, yeah. No, I know sure. that's down. That's that's not great now for cancer research and the hospice, who are very worthy causes that do need the donations. And I don't want to take their sources of funding away. No, but. Let's, you know. Well, donations if desired to whatever. Give them a few them. options. Yeah. The hospice or, for and, minding them. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, Nicola's Amazon wish Mary Ann Kate's OnlyFans account. Yeah. <laughs> because I'd love. Which uh, gave him much joy in his vinyl years. There, yeah. But even if it didn't, though. <laughs> yeah. Even if it didn't, I'd love to be like, I'm doing that for the youth of the country. So that is the most selfless act in the world. Yeah. Because I'm going, I'm about to go over to the other side. Yeah. I want to make sure the young fellows who come behind me have enough ditties to look at. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard the... Very philanthropic. I don't know if it's, what do they call them, a parable or whatever, or, you know, um, that, you know, the act of a man is he, he plants a tree that he knows he'll never see grow. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah, I like that, yeah. You know, because yeah. he knows that the, the youth coming behind him will then enjoy the shade of that tree. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful point. Do you know what I mean? So you're, That's okay. what I'm doing. Right. I may never see those diddies, lads. But diddies. But yes, I'll tell you, I'll make sure everyone does see a diddy. Lovely. We keep these with a good. That's nice now. Just a thought. Is that, um, what you call it? Sexist? No. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the live show. <laughs> Live show, folks. I folks. have been asked every time I go out and do gigs in the oh, town. Oh, I have one other thing, but I'll, I'll get to it after the live show. Oh, it's oh, wow. wonderful, yeah. yes. So the live show, ladies, it, we are happy to announce. Yeah. It is in the Garavogue. Garavogue. Again, so that means, and we mean this this time, yeah. as well you know from the last one, limited tickets are available. Yeah, and in fairness, because, yeah, tight it squeeze. Actually, it is a tight squeeze yeah. in there. Like, I don't know what we can sell. Maybe 100, maybe 120. 100,000. Yeah. No, like, it, so seriously now... Limited tickets. So are when the tickets available. go on sale, which I, th I believe they'll be up, I'd say when this podcast yes, is out, they hopefully will be and, up by now, and the link will be on our bio on our Instagram. Yeah, or you can. Is it Eventbrite we use now, Brendan? Uh, it'll be Universal Ticketmasters. It'll be Universal or Ticketmasters. You can watch yeah, Ticketmaster and search that, yeah. for the Kendi Rainbow Podcast Live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we'll it's send links. Eighth of August, the Thursday night. Thursday night, the eighth of August. Yes. Now we will we will be doing weekend dates later, maybe in the yes. year. This is a Thursday this one. This is a Thursday, probably the last Thursday one. Yes, yeah, the last. We're getting it out of our system. It's yeah. our last Thursday, and yeah. it's going to be. And we have a special guest. Yes, we do. Who is it, Ray? Carl Espana. Carl Spain, ladies yes. and gentlemen, is going to be the special guest. Uh, one of the giddiest goats in all of the land, and, and I cannot wait to talk to him. Yeah, one, I can't wait to talk to him. So, so that's if anything, so that's cool. a reason. To go to it. Isn't it so cool that we get to talk to people like that? It's marvellous. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Like uh, some of the savage guests we've had over the... And we get Carol now next as well. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I can't waste. It's an 8 o'clock show. Yeah. Uh, Brian McDermott will also be there. He will uh, for he Pixel would, Productions. It will feature Pixel Productions. Brendan will be there at 5 to Brendan, Brendan will be there <laughs> at... No. He'll be there It'll at 10 past 8. 10 past 8. He'll be there. And he'll send a text 15 minutes before that saying... Yes. You better, late, get, you better get the doors open running late, lads. Yeah, yeah. he'd say, will yeah. you go down and start taking tickets off people? Yeah, exactly. I have to put on a fucking <laughs> uniform and everything for the Gare of Oak. Um, <laughs> is that that? Anyway, I 8th big, of August, yeah. lads, it, to get the tickets. Lads, they I've, will sell out. I have big news. Go on. So, yeah. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Wait, I find it here now. So, um, I, I obviously went to see Ramstein with a good friend of the podcast, Luke Devaney. Yeah. Luke and myself, it was supposed to be me and Laura. Yeah. But Laura kind of said, no, nah, I've seen them once. That's enough. You go on ahead. Well, it was probably, she actually said, I've seen them once. That was too that, many times. That was too many times. Yeah. One too many times. Yeah. So Luke was delighted to come with me. Yeah. And uh, myself and Luke then stayed in the room that me and Laura would have stayed in, in the lovely Mespel Hotel in Dublin. It was a twin room. 
I did Hang bring on a head now. and got a twin room. Did he get a full experience of Ray? At he night? Got, well, he got a full. He got the full Ray experience as what Laura experiences on a regular basis. Are you still talking? No, oh, never mind shit. that. But that's what I thought. As we were going to bed after our last. By the way, we finished up the night with a two pints of blue moon. I'm surprised we didn't dare strip. And you both, yeah, and you both got into the bed naked. Then we the both got into the bed, Ooh. and I said, "Do you know what I'm going to do, Luke? I'm going to record tonight because no doubt that I'm in a different room. You're going to now experience a bit of me. Lovely, right? And uh, it, that didn't happen. He woke up with a flute in his ear. No, I got sorry. a lot of Luke. Go away. He does. He does it as well. Well, here is Luke Devaney live last Sunday night in. Uh, and this, I, he didn't even realize he did this. So I'm just going to play this. So. Oh, that's heavy. Heavy going, isn't it? <laughs> it sounds like a chainsaw. Or a, a dirt it's bike. It's so <laughs> consistent. Yeah, but the worst thing is every oh. one of them. Jeez, he's about to take flight. He's about to take flight. What the fuck? It, got it so went on for half an hour. Could you? You can't sleep with that, can you? No. I didn't slept straight through it. Oh yeah, good. That's Thankfully, good. Thankfully, yeah, yeah, because we had picked pints over a good spot to stand at the Ramstein concerts. I was out of it. Um, then <laughs> an alarm went off at seven o'clock on the button, right? A fire alarm, and I got that as well. And uh, uh, here it is. I just got to... Oh, that's, that's such that an annoying now. sound. Seven o'clock. Oh, and then, my God. Wait to hear this then. I know I'm hot, but Jesus Christ, it's unnecessary. <laughs> Seven o'clock on the button. Oh, jeez. That wasn't pleasant. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Back to sleep. Now's a good time to be a bit of hydration. Always stay hydrated. That but was you, me having a drop of water. How? First of all, you narrate all of your life. We narrated. We narrated it, not knowing. We, we didn't yeah. remember it was recording. You talked yourself the yeah. whole way through. I that talked there. the whole of myself, and, and of course, Luke's comment about I know I'm hot, but that was unnecessary. Yeah, <laughs> he was so <laughs> witty. That, how the fuck do you wake up hung over at seven in the morning with a comment like that? It's a really little joke. That yeah. is unbelievable. I know what's happened. The fire alarm, lads. Fire Come on alarm, now. Lads. That's a bit Come too on. far. Yeah. Um, Thanks why? to the mess bill for waking us at 7 o'clock We did go back to sleep after Is that a happened. fire alarm drill? I would, no, it was just I'd say someone it went off accidentally for a few moments I mean, Tommy Tiernan said it before, but it's so true Typical Irish to go, I'll not be getting up dog till I'm burning No Do you know, I'll get yeah. another little bit out of we'll this We'll get like. a small bit of smell of smoke, then yeah. we'll go And then we might, we, we might go then We might we'll see. leave Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. see if they tell us to go or not uh, Who knew that Luke Devaney was a, like a trainer in the night sn- snoring stuff? Oh my god, man, that mm. is aggressive, aggressive yeah. snoring Christ almighty. That's it. Now that was the, that's the end of it for me. That's all the crack, I suppose. We'll yeah. see you on the live show. Well, we'll have well, no, plenty we'll have more another, dates before that. We'll have now, another obviously. episode after this. Like, well, we've loads of them. How are we doing anything for 250? I know you poo poo on me saying the episode number, but next week is our 250th episode. Should know. we not? Now, that is not an invitation to Lily Goosewax down the country to send us another freaking <laughs> load of groceries. <laughs> so don't, before you even think about it. Caroline, stop. Yeah. Put the checkbook away yeah. and just let we'll figure something out here in Sligo. Uh, we might we might do something for two fifty. We'll, we'll see what happens. Party. Yeah, maybe or maybe we party. might even bring a special guest. Uh, on. we might bring someone on. You, you know, we know. could talk to someone. We could. Yeah. We could talk to the people. We could talk to someone. Keep an ear out for that, lads. A fair play to Brendan for flicking the keys off himself. Fair play Thanks man. to Pixel Production and the uh, Sligo Show for letting us yeah. record in their beautiful I'm space. I'm going to ham- home to have a little microwave dinner for myself. Oh, one of the, the what you call I've decided them? to go for a centre own brand microwave dinner today. So we'll see how that's like. Fuck me, Ray. You'll be stuck to the ball <laughs> for the rest of the night. Record that as well, will you? <laughs> yeah. Ray, fair play to me. A fair play to me. Good luck. Good luck. The Kendi and Rainbow Podcast. Sponsored by Maeve's Cozy Front Lounge and the Gigaroo Mode.